guys, it's Melanie. Happy Tuesday. So because I did not upload a video yesterday, I am doing this video as like a bonus um, for today. And I'm finally going to share with you guys my demo and my review of the Unique Moonstruck 3D Fiber Mascara. I will always tell you when I am sent products for a review, I was sent this product to try and to share it with you guys. I will have information down below on where you can purchase it from. And um, I was actually sent a little kit that they are running a special on right now. So this stuff that I'm going to show you was all included in the kit. So it came with a cute little um, cosmetics bag. And in there, I kept the packaging. <laughs> you get two of the Moonstruck um, pigment shimmers and so this is what the packaging for those looks like um, much less excessive <laughs> than the mascara um, the two pigments that you get in this particular set are angelic which is basically um, a gold shimmer it's really really pretty and then you also get confident which is a bronzy it's just a very bronzy bronze <laughs> And you also get the lucrative lip gloss in the color Lux. So it's basically a nude. Now I'm going to do a separate video on these products here where I'll review those for you because I just want this to be about the mascara. So you also get the mascara in this particular kit. Now um, the packaging is slightly excessive. Um, I don't quite understand why they need to put it in this like hard plastic case. Um, it seems like they could maybe charge a little bit less for the product. <laughs> Pricing information, of course, will be down below. I will have links for everything down below. Um, I, I'm not quite sure what the purpose of this is. It's essentially like a case that you would put your glasses in to protect them like when you throw them in your purse. So. Um, it's interesting. I mean, it's very pretty. Um, I can see that they're trying to be different and maybe make it seem more high end and luxe feeling, but it just seems a little bit excessive to me. So within that little case, you do get the Moonstruck Transplanting Gel, and this essentially just looks like a black mascara. But what this does is this is what adheres the fibers to your lashes. So it's essentially the glue for the fibers. And then you get your fibers in this little tube. Now this particular product may look somewhat familiar to the Too Faced um, fiber mascara that they came out with. It's funny because I actually got an email from Too, Too Faced. Um, they contacted a bunch of like YouTube people to try the product out but they only had like a limited number to be able to send out. And I didn't see the email until like two weeks after it was sent to me. It was when I wasn't like super active on <laughs> checking my YouTube email. And so I missed out on that. And I just never went to buy it at Sephora because I, I don't know, I guess I just didn't feel that I necessarily needed it. So, but this is essentially kind of the same idea. I believe that the Unique Moonstruck is less expensive than the Too Faced. So there's that. Um, okay, so I have worn this a couple of times. It's legit. It totally works. I'm going to go through the pros and the cons with you about this particular product because I think that there are probably some things to watch out for um, or to think about before you just jump into it. So let's talk about the pros first. Pros are that this is legit. The picture that you saw in the thumbnail for this video, um, that was a picture from Instagram that um, shows me actually wearing the mascara. I loved it because my lashes looked so crazy thick. I am somebody who prefers, who prefers volume over length. With this, you can absolutely do both. I focus it in a way that I get more volume than length. Um, it's fairly easy to apply. I mean, it's just a two-step process. It's not really difficult. Um, some things to maybe think about is that um, you need to have some time to apply this. This is not a product that um, is quick by any means. It's not something that I would say most people would wear on like an average work day unless you took the time in the morning to get ready. Um, so the steps are that you apply a coat of your favorite mascara, 
then the transplanting gel, then the fibers, then another coat of the transplanting gel. Then if you want more length and more volume, another coat of the fibers, another coat of the transplanting gel. So that can take some time. Um, however, the results are that your lashes look crazy thick and or crazy thick and crazy long, depending on the application proce um, process that you choose. Um, another thing to think about, if you are somebody who wears contacts, I don't know that this would be the ideal product for you because I think that if you got the fibers in your eye, that it would probably irritate your contacts. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to for sure. I don't wear contacts, but I did get a couple of the fibers in my eye and it it was irritating. I mean, it, it I got them out and it was fine, but when you're first learning to apply this product, there is a little bit of a learning curve. And so you wanna make sure that um, you're being very careful and that you're taking your time. Once you get used to doing it, it's much easier and it goes much faster. But there is a little bit of that, like, you got to practice, you got to get used to it. You got to be careful not to get the fibers in your eye. You have to make sure that you seal each coat, especially at the very end with the transplanting gel. And just really making sure that you get that transplanting gel on there so that the fibers are not falling into your eyes or onto your cheeks. One thing that I really like about the Unique that is different from the Too Faced is that the Too Faced fibers were white. Now these are black. Most people prefer for their lashes to be black rather than white. Um, so you're not having to um, like try to cover it up with the mascara or the transplanting gel that was included with the Too Faced. So that's kind of nice. And this formula here is it's very black. The transplanting gel is it's very opaque black. Um, in terms of how it wears throughout the day, um, I don't think I used quite enough transplanting gel to really get the um, fibers to stick to my lashes um, because I did notice just a little bit of fallout, but again, I think that was user error for just the first couple of times that I used it. And um, at the end of the night when I was taking it off, it did take me slightly longer with my Philosophy Purity Cleanser than um, with just my regular mascara. And so I essentially had to clean my lashes twice to get all of the fibers off of there. And again, be very careful not to get the fibers in your eye because they could potentially irritate your eyes. So if you are somebody who wears contact lenses or you just have sensitive, super sensitive eyes in general, I don't know that I would necessarily recommend this. Not saying it's a bad product, I'm just saying that if you're somebody who has issues to start with, this may not be the best choice for you. But I will say, this stuff makes my lashes look amazing. Um, for me, it's not going to be an everyday application just because I don't really have time for that. I have a two-year-old and it's the summertime and this is my busy season, I'm a wedding planner. I just don't have time to like sit here for, you know, five to 10 extra minutes making sure that like I'm have my lashes perfectly separated and enough transplant gel and all of that good stuff. But this is actually, it, this is totally going to be like a go-to for me, like for date nights, special occasions. If you're a bride and you don't want to deal with paying for lash extensions, which can be very expensive depending on where you live, um, or you don't want to deal with the hassle of false lashes on your wedding day, this may be a really good choice for you. Again, practice prior to your wedding day so that you know you're not using it for the first time the morning of your wedding um but i think this would be fabulous for that because it you're not dealing with lash glue you're not dealing with lashes like <laughs> falling off and having to get like refills like at the end of the night you just wash them away so that's really kind of nice so those are sort of the pros and cons and what i'm sort of like going to be reserving this product for in the future. It's going to be for date nights, it's going to be for special occasions, um, it's going to be for days when I just wanna feel a little bit more fabulous and have like kapow lashes. Okay, so let me show you guys how to apply this product. And I'm gonna try to make sure that you can see what I'm doing. I think I'll just use a mirror. Okay, 
So hopefully this is kind of straight on. So I already have a coat of my favorite mascara on both eyes. So you can see what my lashes look like with just regular mascara. And the mascara that I use today is one of my favorites. It's the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express. So it's just a drugstore mascara. So this is definitely dry because I, I applied it a little while ago. So what you're going to do is you are going to apply one coat of your favorite mascara. Let that dry. Then you're going to take the transplanting gel, so the thing that just looks like regular mascara. And I'm going to do this eye and then show you the difference between the two. Now what you do is make sure you get a good amount of that transplant gel onto your lashes. By the way, at any moment in time, Stella could come into this room. She's in her bedroom watching Frozen videos on her iPad, well, my iPad, her iPad. She's two, she doesn't have her own iPad. Okay, so really make sure that you get that transplant gel anywhere where you want to adhere these fibers. Okay, then you take your fibers. Be careful not to get these in your eye. And you essentially just put them on over where you apply the transplant gel. So I'm applying this not so much for length, but for thickness. Okay, so you can comb some of the extra fuzzies out so that you're not left with like spider lashes. Okay, immediately take your transplant gel and seal those fibers onto your lashes. So that's after just one coat of the fibers and the transplant gel. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a second coat because this is buildable. I think my blood sugar is dropping because I'm like shaking. <laughs> Someone needs a snack. If you really want to focus on length, bring this up more and you can build the length. But again, I prefer the volume. Okay. And then seal those fibers in with your transplanting gel. Really get that gel on there. Okay. Now if you have some clumps and you don't like the look of clumps, like I don't prefer the look of clumpy lashes. Tarantula lashes are like my least favorite thing. <laughs> By the way, I'm just using a metal lash comb from Sonia Kashuk. So there is, make sure I get my hair completely out of there, one coat, actually two coats of the fiber and transplanting gel. So just with regular mascara. 
And now I'm going to go ahead, go off camera, finish this eye, and then I'll come back and give you my final thoughts. All right, so left eye is done, and that's it. <laughs> so that is with two coats of the Moonstruck 3D Mascara. So final verdict on this is that, yes, the product works. Yes, the product works well. You can either achieve just volume or volume and length very easily. If you want to achieve a ton of length, all you have to do is just pull the fibers up instead of like focusing more towards like the bottom part of your lash line. Um, and I think most people are probably going to want length and volume. So you're just going to pull those fibers up and then obviously with your transplanting gel, seal them in, pull the, pull the fibers up as well, just to seal them in place and make sure that they don't fall on your cheek or into your eyes. That's really the most important thing to know. Don't skimp on your transplanting gel. Um, I like the look that this gives my lashes. Definitely much more voluminous, and like I said, if I want to, I can add the length. Will I use it on a daily basis? No, it's just not, it is an extra time thing that I just don't have time for like every single day. But I'm also the mom of a two-year-old and I run a business, and like I said, this is my busy season. However, for date nights or special occasions, or if I am a guest at a wedding or something like that, I will absolutely turn to this because to me this is easier than applying false lashes. I do makeup on other people for a living. I can apply false lashes to somebody else in a matter of like a second. Can I do it on myself? Hells no. It is like a nightmare. I, <laughs> I have one that like ends up up here and one that ends up right along the lash line. It just hardly ever looks right. Um, but whatever. This is just so much easier. So I do really love it for that. Um, again, be careful if you are somebody who has super sensitive eyes or in the past if you have tried fiber mascaras and it, they have irritated your eyes, maybe think twice about it. But if you've been curious about it and you just didn't know whether you could trust some of the reviews out there, I'm always 100% honest with you guys. I think there are some pros and some things to think about with this and I've told you about those. So I think it's worth a try. But again, just make sure that you have the right eye type or eye situation going on to where this isn't going to irritate your eyes. The price, I think it's fair. Um, I think if they lost this excessive case and put this just in a cardboard box, they could maybe bring the cost down a little bit. And then I would say, perfect guys, good job. But this, maybe a little bit much. So. Yes, I like it. Yes, I like the way it makes my lashes look. Yes, they last all day. Yes, they do take a little bit more work to take off at the end of the night, but it's worth it, especially if it's only, you know, like a couple of times a month that I'm utilizing this product. So there you go. Hopefully you found this helpful. Definitely use the link below if you are interested in purchasing these, um, either this kit or just the mascara and transplanting gel in and of itself. It is not an affiliate link, and um, I asked the seller who contacted me about trying this product, Susan, to not make it like a, um, you know like Castella and Dot has like the trunk shows? Like I, di I didn't want to do like a show where like I earn points off of anything. So it is just a link to her website where you can order the product from. I believe in supporting women with whatever you know business venture they have going on. Susan has been a great subscriber and um, I wanna support her in her business that she's starting, which is selling the unique um, products. So definitely check out her link down below. I This is not a party, I'm not going to get points. Susan's not going to send me anything else. Like I'm, it's, This isn't sponsored. She just sent me the product to be able to try and to share with you. So thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for letting me try the product, Susan. I definitely enjoyed it and I think it's, it's great. I mean, my lashes look a lot more kapow than they normally do with just regular mascara. So leave me any questions down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.